Coaches, Coaches Corner. Hello, and welcome to Coaches Corner. I'm Gage Ripper, here with head football coach Chris Hill. So, Coach, Friday night, Bologna, y'all, your team performed exceptionally well. How do you feel as the coach that they performed? I feel like we played better. You know, we're still uh, you know, young team, trying to get better each week. Uh, we, did, we did play better. Offense moved the ball better. Defense didn't give up any cheap, cheap touchdowns. Uh, still got way too many penalties. But the good thing about the penalties, they're effort penalties. They're not lazy. They're not a lot of, uh, off, you know, offsides or motion penalties. A lot of effort penalties. We'll get those cleaned up. If we do that, then uh, we we'll got a chance to be a pretty good football team. All right. As a coach, football games are crucial. Winning is everything. <laughs> the injury that occurred Friday night. As a coach, what was the first thought that came through your mind? Well, you know, you hate to see anybody hurt. I hate to see anybody get injured, especially, uh, you know, uh, the thought goes to that kid and all the time and effort he, he's put in. You know, he is a great athlete, probably the best hurdler in the state of Arkansas, state, uh, two-time state champ last year uh, in the 110s and the 300-meter hurdles. Come in second to meet a champ, so he is a great athlete. Uh, you know, and you hate to see anybody get hurt. Uh, he's a senior, you know, all the time he's put in, so you really hate it for him. Uh, then the thought goes to the parents, you know, uh, that's somebody's baby out there. Uh, that's hurt and, and, and on the field and uh, severe injury. Uh, I was able to go over and see him Saturday morning, talk to his mother. Uh, he's in good spirits, had sur- about a seven and a half hour surgery uh, Friday night and Saturday morning, had another surgery Sunday, but uh, everything's good. They expect, it, they expect it to make a full recovery. West Helena tonight, what are your expectations for this game? Well, West Helena is very athletic. Uh, they're a good football team. It's, they're extremely tough. Down, down, down there. So it's, we're going to play our best ball game. Uh, you know, they're, they're very athletic. Have a lot of a uh, lot of playmakers. They're going to line up and play us man on defense. Try to bring pressure. So we got to be able to get, beat man coverage, get open. Uh, then we, on defense, we got to do a great job of tackling. We, we cannot lose contain because uh, we tell them all week if we don't hit them in front, we're never gonna, we're never going to catch them from behind. So they, they have a lot of team speed. So we got to have great effort. Uh, Eleven guys to the football on the proper angles. Uh, then, like I said earlier, we, we got to clean our game up. We, we got to cut the penalties out. We got to cut the drop balls out. Uh, make the routine play every time. Make the exceptional play occasionally. And if we do that, uh, then we'll be fine. Thank you, Coach Hill. We wish you the best of luck tonight. Thank you. We'll be back with the player of last week's game, Antonio Davis, after these messages. Hi, this is Jim Huff of First National Bank. And I'm Vernon Pribble. As a former Yellow Jacket, I am proud that First National Bank sponsors the Win Yellow Jackets with the Player of the Week football. Check out our Facebook page this week to find out who the winner was. At First National Bank, it's all about relationships. Once Once a jacket, jacket, always always a jacket. jacket. We are back to Coach's Corner with sophomore running back Antonio Davis. Antonio, you ran for 228 yards Friday night. What have you done to prepare for your running back position? Uh, In the summertime, we ran a lot of sprints. Uh, We just lift weights, and we just worked hard in the summer. All right. Taking Josh Selby's position, what pressure do you feel on the field? I mean, I don't feel no pressure. I just run the ball, follow my blocks, and make the cuts I need to make. What did you do in practice this week to prepare for tonight's game? Uh, Stay on the jug machine a lot to catch the ball and try not to uh, drop open passes. Thank you, Antonio, and we know you will give West Helena a run for their money tonight. We'll be back with Roy Like and DeAndre McGill after this. Ross Ford Toyota is proud to be a sponsor of the Win Yellow Jackets. We all want to wish you good luck and hope that you have a great season this year. Come by and see the all-new 2014 Toyota Tundra and the best-selling truck for 36 years, the Ford F-150. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to keep up with everything happening in the community. Go Yellow Jackets! We are back with Roy Like and DeAndre McGill, who played in that tough Friday the 13th game. Friday night you guys played Bologna. What was it like down there? It was a tough physical game, and uh, I'm just glad we came out on top at home. Yeah, it was a pretty physical game, all four quarters. I just like the feeling of being in front of our home crowd again, and, you know, going out there getting the win for them. Friday night, there was a tragic injury on the field. In the heat of the moment, 
What was the first thought that came to mind after that devastating hit? I was just shocked to see his leg and heard him scream. I just felt bad for him. Yeah, it was a pretty devastating hit. Like after everybody piled off of him, you could actually see how he had dislocated his kneecap. So everybody spread out and they gave room for the athletic trainers and the ambulance to come through and get him off the field. And in fact, his dad actually called me the other day and gave me an update and told me that he would probably be out of the hospital either Friday or Saturday. And he said he'd probably have one or two more surgeries later on this year, but he's doing all, all as well. Good. You guys play West Helena tonight. What have y'all done during practice this week to prepare y'all for tonight's game? Well, they have a bunch of athletes on their team. The quarterbacks can run. They got a bunch of good running backs, so we've been working on contain. We don't have much film on them, so we don't know what they do, so we've just been working on contain, getting right angles. Yeah, like what Roy said, we do have a lack of film on them, but we do know that they have a bunch of athletes that can change, direc change direction at any point in time. So we've been working on our pursuit angles and keeping the athletes contained within the sidelines. Thank you, Roy and Dre. We wish you all the best of luck tonight. Before you buy, dare to compare John Deere tractors and equipment with any other brand for quality, for durability, or for this great deal. Get a 1023E tractor and a D120 loader and pay as little as $180 a month. Now that's a great deal on great John Deere equipment. Dare to compare superior service, selection, and American-made quality John Deere products. Visit a Greenway equipment location today. Find yours at gogreenway.com. Thank you for tuning in, and be sure to watch next week's episode where we will have Coach Hill and the player of tonight's game. We'd like to thank Ross Ford, uh, First National Bank, and Greenway Equipment. Go Jackets.